which relates to Skull Kid, because he was having a good time, you know, making everyone everyone's lives hell. Uh, but it also relates to real life, you know. You know, so you might have something that makes you happy, but doesn't make everyone happy. So, you know, it might make you happy at the cost of someone else's happiness. Not even something that that's like obviously bad. Even it might be something that's a little bit less obvious. And, you know, all that. So, let's see. I'm just gonna give him the bunny hood, unless he doesn't want. It. Yeah, I'm wearing it, so he doesn't want that. Let's see. So this one you have to give each time you talk to a different, uh, different mask one level up. They're gonna ask for one more mask each time you talk to them. So I'm not, I didn't explain that well. So like, you know, Dala, since he's the first boss, you can ask for one mask each time you see him, and then the goat one asks for two, Georg asks for three since he's the third, and then Twin Moles can ask for four masks each time you see him. But they never ask. You're gonna have enough masks le left over to keep your transformation masks, so don't don't worry about having to give those away, because you never have to. So that's awesome. So here, th this this part's a pain, but it's not hard. What the hell just happened? Okay, I don't I don't even know what just happened, but okay. Uh, apparently, the game thought I died somehow. Not quite sure, but let's see. The heart piece in here is left, left. And then right, and then left. It'll be behind a gossip stone. So the thing about this is, this is one of those find the right path. And yeah, there's a heart piece right there. This is one of those find the right path things, where they give you no indication of how to actually find the right path. So it's pretty much up to your guesswork. And thankfully, I did manage to find it on my own. But I think it's left, right, left, right. So. But still, it's obnoxious. It's not hard, it's just annoying. So, Nintendo, you we need to have some words about this this last area here. We need to have some words. So, left, right, left, right should do the... Yeah, that's that's right. That's all there is to it. And then you'll see the little kid, he's over here. So, take off your mask and get ready for three more masks. Give away the... These three... Oh, we can't go to the milk club anymore. What a shame. My life is now incomplete. More, more, more. Jeez, patient little punks. With their white dress things. Whatever. I ask you a question. The right thing, what is it? I wonder if you do the right thing, does it really make everybody happy? And that harkens back to Machiavellian logic, which the right thing, in his opinion, would not always necessarily be something that makes people happy. It involves, you know, other things like keeping power. So, you know, something that's morally right might not always be what makes people the happiest. Which completely contradicts utilitarianism, so F you philosophy class, 720 AM. Just kidding, even though it's a cool class. <laughs> it's a good class, but whatever. So here's the last guy. He's, his dungeon's pretty easy too. Although it, oops, it, does, it is a little bit hard to figure out. But it is puzzly instead of platformy, so... So he's going to ask for four masks this time, and then at the end of his little dungeon as well. Give him these four, and then... I'm going to want to get three more. Let's see. So give him this, and then he's like, oh, you're nice, and then let's teleport to his hide-and-seek area. And then after this, we're going to get ready for the final little boss fight, which is pretty fun. I like it. It's epic. Well, nah, I don't want to say epic, but it's it's fun. Definitely. And do I? Nah, I don't need those pots. Actually, I do. Never mind. I'll go back and get them after, after we finish this fight. So, let's go, dinosaur thing. Stupid dinosaur guy. Oh, I thought, oh, I thought I was gonna start doing his fire breathing thing. Well, there it is. Well, I guess he doesn't like jump strikes. Well, dead. Yeah, there's two mini boss fights in this dungeon, and then there's two puzzle E rooms. Puzzle ish, but not not really. You'll see what I mean. Let's see, are there any arrows in here? There's hearts, there's rupees, there's. Nope, I did not need any of that. Thanks, game. Thanks, Mucho. Alright, what's in here? Alright, Gossip Stone, Transition Room. 
Then here you have... Yep, Gera Master again. Hello, old friend! How you bastard. So I saw... I saw two movies yesterday, actually. Wait, did I? Yeah. Wait, no, I saw one of them today, that's right. Yesterday I saw Killer Elite, which was kind of bland, but it was okay. I saw Killer Elite, but I want to talk about... Oh yeah, I saw the second Tron movie, which I thought was pretty awesome. It was one of those movies where the story isn't that great, and the graphical special effects aren't amazing in the HD sense, but more so in the art direction sense. So, I really like the color scheme, how it was black and blue and white, neon white especially. Watch out, because it'll hurt you there. I really like the black and blue color scheme, it was very nice. So the you know, the story was interesting enough. I thought it was a pretty good movie. I haven't seen the first one, so I was a little bit confused as to some of the plot. So, but it was a good movie. I think it's worth watching if you haven't seen it, so. Get some arrows and just keep going. Just keep swimming! Alright, so here we have an iron... Oh yeah, there's three mini boss fights. That's right, I forgot about this. Hey, bro! So this is just as easy as it always was. Which is, you know, pathetically easy if you don't remember. I always thought it was a girl beneath those clothes. I mean, I know in Ocarina it was... Whatever her name was. Goron girl. Or the Goron... The Gerudo girl. But in this game it's... It might just be a very masculine lady. Who knows? In this game. You never know. But you get some bomb shoes, which is this is the only time in the game you actually have to use bomb shoes. The one and only time. So this is this is the only part that's a little bit hard to figure out. If you look up, actually no, if you don't look up, if you look over there, there's a big crack on the wall, and you have to use bomb shoes to blow it up. So just wait a few ticks, like four, three, or four. Oops, I did not mean to bring out two, but that yeah, that did the trick. Alright, now just take out your arrows. And that's pretty much all. Well, no, there's one more room in this dungeon, and then we're done with it, so. And then it's on to the final boss fight, so. Pretty awesome. Awesome! Awesome! Okay. So I'm very excited to get started on Silent Hill 2. It's pretty. Oh, here's a heart piece. I just throw it at you. So, three pieces, that's the very last one that we're going to be getting, so sorry for that last one, but I don't really care, so. Because I know where all the hard pieces are, I must have just... I, like, I don't know which one it is that I haven't picked up. Because... I don't know. What the hell? How come the other one blew up so prematurely and this one did not? Hope I don't run out of them, that would be a pain. Okay. Let's hold this for a few ticks. Uh, that should be cool. There we go. And then here you need some fire arrows. You don't need any more elemental arrows besides this. No more light arrows or ice arrows. More fire arrows. So this is the very last fire arrow. Just lots of lasts going on right here. Lots of lasts. And here is the uh, final kid room. So let's see. Finally gonna give away some of these. So Garo Mask, Gibdo Mask, and Captain's Hat. And of course we have to get one more out, so. Let's see. Which one? Oh giant <laughs> such a bad mask. I hate this mask, whatever. But that's all of our masks masks, you guys. So here's the last philosophical question. You can ask a question. Your true face, what kind of face is it? I wonder, the face under the mask, is that your true face? So that harkens back to people being fake in real life, wearing a mask to kind of fit in. Which, I don't know how that relates to the game itself, but it does relate to real life, because I know a lot of people uh, pretend to be someone else in order to fit in with someone, or, you know, be judged a different way. Which, personally, I don't care. What you see here, this is a real me. I don't really do that mask crap. But, anyway, all the kids are gone, so all you have to do now is talk to the one crouching with Majora's Mask. So, everyone has gone away, haven't they? Will you play with me? No, yes. You don't have any masks left, do you? 
Well, let's do something else. Let's play good guys against bad guys. Yes, let's play that. And you get the final mask, the Fierce Deities mask. Could this mask's dark powers be as bad as Majora? Try it on with the C-Stick. Are you ready? You're the bad guy, and when you're bad, you just run. That's fine, right? Well, shall we play? He said, would you kindly subscribe?